All right, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be taking a look at pre-order pricing for the Lee Max 2023 Spooky Town. Let's get into it. Okay, so recently I released a video going through a lot of the new standard line for the Spooky Town 2023. It did not include any exclusives as they have yet to be announced. But continuing on that train, websites are now starting to post pre-order pricing and I thought we could take a look at that together as well. I did look at a couple websites, but I chose to go with Erie Emporium because I've heard a lot of good things about them. They really focus on Lamax and particularly Spooky Town, uh, Halloween in general, but really Spooky Town is really what you go there for. And I've heard a lot of wonderful things about the way they ship things because they really understand how fragile these things are and it's their focus of their business or one of them right Rather, and I couldn't think of a better place to throw my support. Uh, I have never spoken to these people in my life. I have never ordered anything from them, uh, but I'm going to have to try it one of these days because more and more of these past couple years, particularly, I've really heard a lot of cool things about them. So if you know anything about them, drop it in the comments below. Uh, but anyways, as far as our pre-order pricing, they were within a couple dollars of everywhere else anyways. Uh, so look, if we can manage that shipping risk a little bit more, even if it costs one or two extra dollars, literally, then this would probably be the better option. But anyways, that's my reasoning for that. So with that said, guys, let's take a look at the pricing. OK, so we do have the Gloom Room, which was an exclusive from last year, uh, but it is available everywhere now for about $129.99. Uh, if you haven't got your hands on that one, it's definitely really, really cool. I know it was released last year, but again, it was an exclusive. Not everybody could get their hands on it, um, but it's really, really nice. So anyway, that's the Gloom Room. But let's focus on the brand brand new stuff. So here we go. The Lemax Spooky Town Full Moon Diner, $119.99. Look, there's some movement on it. I'm assuming it's probably going to have a pretty good footprint on it or at least a decent one. Uh, you know, that doesn't seem crazy, especially considering what we've paid over the past previous years. This actually seems like it might be a slight improvement. I know that price point is used quite a bit with Lemax, um, but this kind of seems, you'll see as we go here, that it doesn't kind of get as as extreme uh, as it was in prior years. Uh, so 119 is definitely probably on, you know, the reasonable to high end, something like that. Again, I haven't seen it in person. These are all just my views from imaging and videos, right? So this, my views could change on this. But for now, 119 seems about kind of where it was going to be anyways because of the animation, the sound, the lights, the full package. 120 bucks is kind of right in there. Uh, and again, these prices, I don't believe include shipping. I think that is separate, but that's going to be pretty much anywhere uh, for the most part. But in this case, these are just the pricing for the house itself. So $119.99 for the Full Moon Diner. It's definitely one I'm excited to review. I, it, it looks cool and it's getting a lot of hype. So anyways, there it is. Next up is the Spooky Town Phantom View Apartments. This is the top dog for me. This is the one that if there's anything I can have this year, it's going to be that one. I will be searching and searching and begging Lamax to let me review it early. If not, I will be first in line at the store to try to get my hands on one of these because I know these are going to sell out very quick. Now, here's the kicker. $119.99. I thought Based on last year's pricing, this thing was going to be sky high, sky high. And I get it. 120 is not cheap, but all things considered for what you get here. And there is a lot of animation on this thing. A lot. I think that is actually I'm not going to tell you it's a steal because it's still 120 bucks, but it's it's pretty reasonably priced, to be honest with you. I really thought this was going to be in the 169 something like that, you know, somewhere way, way up there, maybe even headed towards 200. I mean, last year at Michael's, we saw some that were over 200. So I was pretty sure this one was going to be somewhere in that vicinity. I don't know if COVID and shipping delays has something to do with the pricing last year or what happened, but this year so far, 120 for this. I mean, that, that just has to happen. I mean, I don't know what a house to break it to you. That has to happen. 
So anyway, there it is, the Phantom View Apartments. And if you want more information on that, you can check the Lemax website. I also do a video where I go into a little bit more depth about that, but I have not done a full review on it because I have not got one myself. Uh, and you know me, it's all about those first impressions when I do a review for you. So don't wanna share too much until I actually get one. Okay, as we continue to work our way down here, we have the Lemax Spooky Town Mystery Meat Canning Co. at $114.99, so a couple dollars cheaper there. This is another really cool one. It has that brain thing, you know, where it like moves within the brain. You, you probably saw it on the other video that we did here. Uh, very cool. I think it's priced appropriately, actually. I, I don't think this one is super sky high for what it is. And I don't think it's like ultra low either. I think it's probably about where I thought it was gonna come in. I thought this one was gonna be in the 120 range. Uh, so 114 is about what I was expecting anyways for this one. It's gonna be cool though. This one is gonna be cool. So all right, here we go. Continuing on is the Headstone Mill Brewery. Uh, this also came out last year, I believe as an exclusive, if I remember right. Um, I'd have to double check that, but I think it was an exclusive and that's why this year it's in the main line. Uh, 100, 100 bucks, 109 bucks. Look, another great one. I have it, it's beautiful, it's big, and it's just a machine. So if you haven't had a chance to get your hands on that one or take a look at it, highly recommend it. Okay, let's continue on, guys. We have the Lemax Spooky Town Raven Hill, which was also one from last year, coming in at $86.99. Now, on to more of the brand new stuff. This is one here that everybody is talking about. It's the Spooky Town Haunted Aquarium. There's something about aquarium themes that no matter what get people excited, including me. I love this piece, and it's coming in at $66.99. Honestly, Another fairly priced piece. I thought it was probably gonna be even a little bit more. Uh, what makes me a little iffy about it is I don't know how big it is yet, and I haven't seen it in person. You know, I do give measurements on my full reviews, but sometimes I even tend to measure them myself. Uh, just to double check, you know, sometimes, but this, this one here at $66.99 probably isn't going to be huge, but it's aquarium theme. There's not much, I don't think there's any animation at all. I think it's just like a lighted building. But for $66.99, you get the aquarium theme. It looks very spooky. Hopefully it's big enough to justify the 66 bucks. Uh, I'm not expecting a huge footprint here, but at least an average footprint. And I think that right there is gonna be what you're paying for at that $66.99. It will be worth it. That one is gonna be another one that is going to sell out. No question about it. There's just way too much hype and it's so rare that we get aquarium themed stuff. So this one, if, if you are interested, you must get it early, as soon as you can, when they hit store shelves, pre-orders, whatever, because that one will be gone. Okay, next up is the For Bonding Abode. If you saw my last video when I originally talked about this house, I screwed up Abode with Adobe, and I'm pretty sure I'm screwing up the first part as well. My reading is unbelievable, as you know if you've been with me a while. But anyways, regardless of the name, it's coming in at $64.99. This is gonna be one of those houses that hopefully is gonna look even cooler in person. It does feature that candle flicker effect, but like actually flickering with that little plastic piece that goes back and forth. I think I think that's the first time we've ever seen this on a Lamax house, but it's coming in at $64.99. So I'm thinking this one's gonna be cool, but I, we'll see it in person. Next up is Samantha Supernatural coming in at $59.99. This is a kind of a interesting house. You know, the Supernatural thing is quite popular, obviously alongside Halloween. I'm into it myself. So I'm definitely going to be looking at this one in person and hoping to review it, but it's coming in at $59.99. And that seems actually about right. I think it's going to have a decent size footprint and it looks like it's got a lot of detail. And so I think $59.99 is probably right where it should be. Continuing to work our way here is the Gothic Hills Funeral Parlor, coming in again at $59.99. We're definitely seeing some more pieces here in the $60-ish range. This looks cool, it's borderline like a castle feel almost. And for the price point, with the amount of detail that it looks like it's gonna have, I think $60 is again fair. Now, next up is one I'm very excited about, the House of Shadows, coming in at $54.99. This is totally a throwback to the old school spooky town when you get like the silhouettes in the window and the lights inside would flash, you know, kind of long before we had tremendous animation, all that stuff like we do now. And at $54.99, I think that's actually cheaper than where I thought it was going to be myself. So this is gonna be one of those ones that I think is probably gonna be more than worth the $54.99. 
Next up is the Ale House from last year at $52.99. And then here we go again with another very exciting one, the Pumpkin Patch Train coming in at $49.99. So we're dropping again here, $49.99. This one is going to be really interesting because with the movement, it's probably going to have some very basic lighting, I would imagine, because it's kind of like really an accessory for your village. So it may not be huge, but I'm hoping it's big enough to at least justify the 50 bucks. If so, this one is gonna be popular and cool. We have a couple more here from last year as well, Dancing in the Moonlight at $46.99. The Future Looks Dark at $39.99. And then, boom, another one. Here we go. Trick or treat if you dare. There is a huge portion of the community, the Lemax community, that love the trick or treat houses. And the longer and longer I've been in this hobby, which feels like a lifetime now, I mean, literally my whole life, I've even began to even get more and more into the trick or treat stuff myself. It's been a really long time since we've seen something like this. I mean, in this theme, this is just perfect for those of you into the trick or treat house kind of style stuff. This is going to be right up your alley and at $39.99 worth every penny. It, it just, it's just going to be so $39.99, it's going to be a classic lit bulb style house like a lot of them are, but for 40 bucks, I think this is going to be one that's again going to fly off the shelf for a multitude of reasons, but again, the trick or treat style stuff is just huge, huge, huge in popularity in this hobby, and at 40 bucks, it, it's just, I mean, how could you not, right? So there we go, that's that. Next up is the Witch Van Life coming in at $39.99. This one has a lot of detail, it looks like. And I think in person, this one's just going to be mind-blowing at $39.99. It's not going to have any animation, soundtrack, things like that. It's going to be basically lit. But it's going to offer a lot of detail. And if it's big enough to justify the $40, bucks, I think it too will be popular. Okay, so here we go. Next up is going to be The Last Straw House of Scarecrow. There is quite a few pieces in this year's collection of this like miniature house within a miniature village, if you will. So these are going to be, uh, I, I believe, based off what they look like so far, it seems like these are going to be smaller than the normal houses. But if you're working with a space where you want to get a lot in, but don't have a lot of space to do it, this is going to be an affordable way to get a lot in and really fit your size restraints. And if you have a large village, this is just good to have as another accessory house in your village. So the straw house looks cool. Uh, we'll see it in person. Again, you know, when you get into these smaller price points and these smaller houses, you know, you can't expect all the glory of these bigger ones. But again, this is gonna fit perfect for those who have a small space but wanna get a lot of things in. And at $36, $36.99, that's a lot more affordable than 100 or more, right? So you can definitely get a lot more bang for your buck going this direction. And there is a few to pick from, including this next one that's coming up here is going to be Creatures of the Night Pet Shop. This is probably going to be another just classically lit house, I would imagine, as well. But it's pet themed, so who doesn't love that? And it's probably going to be a little bit on the smaller side as well, coming in again at $34.99. So anything in this price point is just, it's really, it's reasonable. So there you go. Those are those. The next. Wow. Those are those. OK. Anyways, next up is the coffin bar coming in at thirty two ninety nine. A unique idea. Um, I do think it would have been cool to see some more lighting on this piece. Uh, again, it's thirty two ninety nine. So you can't expect the world. But this would be great if you have like a town square or the graveyard party gloom room, you know, anything like that. This would fit really well with and it kind of expands on that theme and idea a little bit more. I love the coffin bar idea and hopefully it'll be popular and maybe they'll even develop some more stuff if this works out. So anyway, there we go. Coming in at $32.99, a really nice little accessory. Next up is the Spooky Pumpkin Express. So it's $29.99 and I think this is going to be one of those situations kind of like the tow truck from this past year. I think the tow truck was like $29.99 that went with like the last ditch. It could have been 20, but I think it was 29. And a lot of people stayed away from it. Number one, because it didn't have a big push behind it. But past that was because it was hard for people to justify 30 bucks for a tow truck. However, I went on the adventure and picked one up and was blown away by how big it was. And more importantly, the amount of detail. It was worth way more than the $30 they were asking for it, especially if you bought it on a coupon. I mean, it's basically a steal at that point. 
But anyway, so I think that's going to be probably what's happening here. I think it's going to be bigger than expected and it's going to have some cool detail and it's probably going to end up justifying that $29.99 price point. But we'll see. We haven't seen it in person yet, but that's kind of what I'm expecting. And then alongside with the next one, which is the newly deads, I think it's probably going to be in that same vicinity uh, as well. I think the carriage is probably going to be pretty good size. The horse is probably going to be pretty good size. And then, of course, you'll have the figures. Again, it's hard to tell. You can look up specs and stuff on the Lee Max website. But really, in person is where you get the true feel for this stuff. And this one's coming in at $26.99. So we'll see. Hopefully, these two items fall in that tow truck idea where they're way bigger and way cooler in person. And they more than justify that price point. Next up is the fashion show. This is such a cool theme. I absolutely love, love the detail in this. And it's probably going to be pretty popular, I would imagine. But the colors are just unbelievable. I want to review this one. And coming in at $24.99, I think it's really going to fulfill every penny of that as well. Next up is the Creepy Covered Bridge. This one I'm unsure about because I don't know how big it's going to be in person. Again, you could look up specs for yourself on the Lee Max website. Uh, but at $22.99, We'll see. We will see. All right, continuing to work our way now is more of those smaller houses like we talked about earlier. The Ghost Cottage coming in at $20.99. Again, if you have a small space, right, but you want to fit a lot in and not break the bank doing it, this is going to be that market right there. This is for you. $20.99. That'll get you a Ghost Cottage, but it will also get you the one next to it here, Wanda's Cottage. I think they're going to be similar in size. Again, a lot smaller probably than your standard houses. And they're not going to have sound and crazy animation, but they're spooky. You're, it's a village piece. Your collection's getting bigger. And I will say that the Wanda's Cottage does look highly detailed. So I'm excited to see what those feel like in person, what they look like in person. And let's see what how big they are, really. But I think I really think there is a market for a lot of people that don't have a huge space to display. I don't have a huge space to display. And so to be able to add a lot in and not break the bank doing it, this really opens up the door to a lot more folks to have a lot more pieces. So really cool. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, anyways, next up is the Pumpkin Cottage coming in at $18.99. Again, we're, we're at that $20 price point right now. You can't expect the world, but again, it's cute. You can pack in a lot with it. There's plenty of now in this line here of different pieces within this sizing that you can really build a little village for. So $18.99, I think it's going to be cool. We'll see. I do definitely want to review some of these smaller ones as well this year. We'll see if there's a market there. I'm sure they'll continue to expand on it. There are a few other things in the catalog this year. You can look at all the pricing that I'm looking at here on EerieEmporium.com. I just want to touch on two more things. Last year, there was, I think it was like these little ghosts. They were accessories and they were instantly sold out, instantly popular, and people are still trying to get them till this day. That's what we're going to see here with this next thing, the haunted tree trunks. They're adorable. And get this, $9.99, $10. That's right, 10 bucks, period, 10 bucks. I think these are going to be so popular, instantly popular. They're going to be amazingly adorable, crazy affordable. And I, I just think this is like the million dollar steal right here. $9.99. They're going to be ultra popular. So if you want these, this is going to be another one of those. You're going to want to get early because these are going to go quick. You can't beat it. And I think this is also going to be another one that, uh, you know, some of us may get a couple extras of because this, this is cool. So anyway, there it is, the Haunted Tree $9.99. And the last one I want to touch on was the Pumpkin Snowman. I think this one's probably going to do pretty decent as well. Um, I don't think they light up or anything, but they're $4.99. So at that price point, it definitely looks like it's going to fulfill that and more. So I think these will be popular as well. I still think the tree trunks will go first. But these are going to be another one that people, I think, are going to enjoy. So there's definitely more accessories and figures and stuff like that. I wanted to just kind of touch on a lot of the main stuff. Again, we haven't seen any exclusives, so we don't know what the price points of those are going to be or how many there's going to be and who's going to have what. But this is so far what we know about the standard line so far. All in all, I think the pricing is so much better so far this year. Not everything's affordable. I get it. But at least you have the knowledge and you can see what's going on. I want to shout out Erie Emporium again as well. I believe it's ran by a couple that are like Halloween enthusiasts, which is really cool. You know, they're working hard to keep 
the Halloween spirit alive. And they really focus on making sure you get your Lee Max in one piece. I've heard so many good things about these guys. I believe they're a semi newer company within the past so many years or so, I think. Um, but nonetheless, it's always good to see people getting out there and chasing their dreams and all that kind of stuff. So they're taking their Halloween dream to a whole new level. So shout out to them. Like I said, I've never worked with them before, never even spoke to them, haven't purchased anything from them yet, but definitely going to give it a shot this year. So that there it is, guys. Those are the pre-orders from Erie Emporium. Again, there was a couple other sites, one or two sites that were also taking pre-orders. And I think there was like a $2 difference roughly. But come on. I mean, I'd rather have the security of knowing that for that extra $2, someone shipping it that actually understands what these are and they're not just a barcode on somebody's shelf. And with Erie Emporium, it seems like with those guys, they really understand what these houses are, what these pieces are, and how fragile they are. I've heard phenomenal things. So shout out to them. Thank you guys so much for continuing to support my channel. For more information on this stuff, you can go to eerieemporium.com or lemaxcollection.com. I cannot wait to see the rest of this line. We will continue to do videos like this as more and more information comes out. But for now, that's where we stand. Thank you for continuing to support my channel. And as always, please, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.